What the fudge is going on with all these people freaking out on airplanes claiming they saw something that others did not see? Not to mention all this UFO alien disclosure and our government's now admitting that they actually have aliens from crashed UFOs. Is this all a diversion? What are they diverting our attention from? Is there a plan to pose a UFO alien invasion in order to bring the world together in a new world, in a total new reset, a global reset? We're going to talk about this and show you all kinds of mind-blowing clips on the whole alien agenda and whether or not this is a diversion. First, we had the United States shooting down alleged Chinese spy balloons, and then, of course, the United States took that in the direction of shooting down UFOs. UFOs that nobody else saw but the United States. Kind of like nobody saw aliens on airplanes other than the people that freaked out saying they saw something that wasn't there. This was all followed up by a slew of alleged whistleblowers all at the same time that aliens decided to descend their spaceship down on Las Vegas, Nevada. Perhaps aliens like to gamble. Perhaps they wanted to see a good show. And now we have these very interesting and fascinating congressional hearings that took place in the United States with more alleged whistleblowers revealing not so shocking information about UFOs and aliens. You've stated that the government is in possession of potentially non-human spacecraft. Based on your experience and extensive conversations with experts, do you believe our government has made contact with intelligent extraterrestrials? Something I can't discuss in public setting. Do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. And was this documentary evidence, this video, photos, eyewitness, like how would that be determined? The specific documentation I would have to talk to you in a skiff about. Yes, they have recovered aliens from crashed UFOs, aliens from outer space. And I say maybe they're actually related to some of our politicians and celebrities. Um, Mr. Grush, why is it that you per, uh, refer to the phenomenon as non-human intelligence? Why deviate from the basis of extraterrestrial life? Uh, I think the phenomenon uh, is... Uh, uh, very complex, and I like to leave an open mind analytically to specific origin. When you say specific origin, are you referring, can you elaborate on that for those that might If it's a traditional extraterrestrial origin or something else that uh, we don't quite understand uh, from either a biological or astrophysics perspective, yeah, I just like to l keep an open mind on what it could be. So is this just all a diversion to take our attention away from very important matters or matters that they don't want us to see? To take our minds and focus away from the survival of humanity? Because that is what is at stake right now. But perhaps they don't want you to know certain things or see certain things. Perhaps they didn't want us to catch the old man when he slipped out and told us that there's actually a cure for cancer. A cure ending cancer that goes back a long time ago. I guess that would explain why Jimmy Carter had a 90% fatality rate at the age of 90 and all of a sudden was cured from the big C. So was he lying or was this real? I cure cancer. He looked at me like, why cancer? Because no one thinks we can. That's why. And we can. We end the cancer as we know it. We already knew that they had that cure for the big C and it goes against their depopulation agenda if they were to allow the rest of us to have that cure for the big C. Now perhaps also they didn't want us to know that the POTUF actually fell asleep during a very important meeting with another world leader. <laughs> Check this out. And, uh, yeah, so what is up with all that y'all? We already know how deep the corruption goes within these crime families. They show us a whole lot of this. So where were you today when it actually happened, when Donald Trump was arraigned, when he pled not guilty to 37? The historic indictment against former President Donald Trump. Our laws 
that protect national defense information are critical to the safety and security of the United States, and they must be enforced. And they show us very little or none of this. Well, Robbie, a former friend and business partner to Hunter Biden will give closed door testimony before the House Oversight Committee today. Devin Archer, who sat beside Hunter Biden on Burisma's board, is expected to testify that the younger Biden frequently roped his father, then Vice President Joe Biden, into conference calls with foreign business partners. Not to mention all of the very important global events that are taking place that they are literally devoting our attention away from as much as they possibly can by throwing UFOs, aliens, and screaming passengers on airplanes in front of us on the news and in the mass media. Not to mention that we have the daily collapse of the dollar occurring in the United States while the rest of the economy is about to fall and that fall is on our doorsteps globally. There's food shortages already in place that are only gonna get worse as they continue to attack our food by sending fake meat out on our shelves, attacking our cattle, our chicken, our pork, and anything else they possibly can while ignoring the wildfires that are wiping out most of Canada, Italy, Greece, and they're happening all over the globe. But these are things that they don't want us to know about. So why is it exactly that they are diverting our attention away from these important matters that could literally determine the survival of humanity? Do they not want us to survive? It kind of appears that way. And wait till you see what else I got to show you today. Hey, I'm spiritual medium Joseph Tittle, AKA Spearman JT, and I welcome you to my channel and back to my channel. If you want accurate predictions, truth, and prophecy, you found the perfect tribe, smash that subscribe. Thank you for clicking the like button as well, and I wanna thank all of my subscribers, members of the community below, members of the subscribe star community, and all those who make this free content possible for everybody else, I am forever grateful. Down below, you'll also find the link to my newsletter. You're going to want to open that up, sign up. It's free for updates, upcoming classes, and so much more. Let us get on with the alien agenda. As you can imagine, there are so many conspiracies already wrapped around this video I'm about to show you that went viral of the woman freaking out on the plane. But one conspiracy we need to put to rest so that you can save your comments is the conspiracy of the man in the green hoodie who claims that he was on the same plane, which we now know he was not. The overhead bins in the video with the man in the green hoodie compared to the overhead bins of the woman freaking out in the plane are completely different. And that video of the man in the green hoodie goes back to 2022. So we can put that there conspiracy aside and know that it is just that, a complete conspiracy. So now let us take a look at this video clip of this poor woman going absolutely cray cray. Evidently because she saw something on the plane that nobody else saw. Something that was not real or was it actually real? You be the judge of that. This video starts off in the back of the plane where she allegedly lost an earbud. <laughs> Also keep in mind that there are others who stepped forward and made claims that they were on the same airplane and allegedly saw this woman consuming alcohol before she stepped onto the plane. And these claims are exactly that, my friends. They are just claims because really, we honestly do not know. There are also claims that this woman was freaking out because she lost one of her earbuds. Now, how losing an earbud can turn into seeing something that wasn't there is beyond me. And again, we simply don't know. But it just so happened, coincidentally, that the comedian Carrot Top was on the same plane. And this is what he had to say. Yeah, I give uh, my hats off to everyone at American Airlines uh, today for ha how they handled the situation. That nut job just lost her mind in front of the whole plane. And... Uh, Five hour later, uh, we're here in Orlando 
and uh, I hope you're having a uh, relaxing evening behind bars in Dallas, Texas, and uh, hope you enjoyed your little stunt. Okay. Now let us look at this final clip of this poor woman freaking out who evidently saw something on the plane or someone that others did not see. Whether it be that she's a good actress working for the cabal, as some conspiracies claim, you be the judge and leave your comments down below. I'm telling you, I'm getting the f off, and there's a reason why I'm getting the f off of everyone. They can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two f but I am telling you right now, that f that f back there is not real. And you can sit on this plane and you can One interesting observation that was made by another channel creator was how this woman is holding up her hand. Now making another claim that she was holding up the symbol of the two finger salute. The two finger salute represents the definition is as above so below. So like a plane as above so below. So that's where these claims come in. The two finger salute is also used by those within the church of Satan and those who worship the deity Baphomet or Baphomet. As you see in this picture right here. Whether or not there's actually any validity to any of these claims and statements, we simply again just do not know. So we can therefore make all the claims and conspiracies that we want until we actually get down to the bottom of the truth. You would think after all this time and videos going viral all over the internet of this woman that perhaps she would have stepped forward with a video of her own by now at least defending herself or speaking about what happened. But we have not seen that, of course, and likely we're never going to see that. And if we do, we wouldn't know anyway. It could be artificial intelligence tricking us. And in not stepping forward and in not doing so, we can make three very, very good, strong arguments as to why not. One easy argument is that she actually had a mental breakdown or a psychotic episode and is just too embarrassed to explain her unexplained behavior. We can also argue the point that she actually did see something and she fears for her life now and therefore isn't stepping forward. And the third argument would be that she actually did see something that she wasn't meant to see and definitely wasn't meant to tell the rest of us about, let alone freak out about it. And therefore her life truly is in danger. And some claim that now she's disappeared. Wouldn't you disappear after an episode like that went viral? It's a theory I personally don't buy into. We can always be open to the fact that this poor woman, along with two others on a total of three different airplanes on three different continents, actually did see something. Obviously something that no one else saw. Whether this be from the spirits of the alcohol, because the spirits of alcohol can definitely increase you to see things that you wouldn't normally see. Whether it be medication, whether it be both alcohol and medication, or perhaps neither one of those that opened them up. Perhaps they are all just crazy. I don't personally believe that that is the case at all. And perhaps they all saw a shapeshifter, which isn't so hard to believe because many people believe in shapeshifters, including the indigenous native people who have been talking about shapeshifters for thousands of years. Shapeshifters, and there's one that you most likely heard of, the skinwalkers. The skinwalkers are an ancient indigenous native belief of spirits that can shapeshift into different forms and different beings. There are also those that are a little crazy that actually believe that they can shapeshift, like Lady Gaga, for example. You know, I, I have always liked to shapeshift. So let's take this little kid, for example. Perhaps this little kid got so frightened when he ran into Queen Elizabeth because he saw her shapeshift. We can't deny that it's actually possible. There are some conspiracies that believe that Queen Elizabeth was the queen of the reptilian race. But what was it that scared this little kid? But nowadays, with all these pictures, photographs, and videos, we can't really be too sure. We literally have to take everything with a grain of salt. Because with today's artificial intelligence, that's way more advanced than we even are being led on to know about, we have already been tricked by it. 
How do we know that when we see a president or leader on television talking that it's actually them? Because they can pull that off with artificial intelligence and you would never know the difference. Artificial intelligence has advanced to the level of extremely scary. So scary that it's really too good to actually be able to decipher whether it's real or unreal, fact or fiction. We've already been lied to, manipulated, and programmed the way they want us to be and the way that they want us to react. They know exactly how people are going to react to certain situations and certain outcomes. Therefore, the elite plan these things specifically in a way that they want us to react to these situations. So we need to be more aware of how we are reacting and how we're not reacting to the things that we should be reacting to. Again, so many people claim that many leaders and celebrities are lizard people, clones, and even robots. Have you heard that one yet? Hillary Clinton actually says that she's a robot. The weirdest thing about me is that I don't sweat. You guys are the first to realize that I'm really not even a human being. <laughs> I, I was constructed in a garage. Now, can anybody explain exactly what happens to be going on with Mitch O'Connell? Is he a robot and there was some kind of misfunction in his programming? Or is he simply just too old? What do you think? Tell me in the comments down below. Yes. Then we have the notorious, well-known Elon Musk, who many claim is too advanced in knowledge and wisdom to actually be a human. And Elon Musk actually slipped when he was on the Joe Rogan show and said this. All this energy and all these ideas, and then people just let him do these things. Because I'm an alien. That's what I'm speculating. Years after I said that Elon Musk, like many others, is actually an alien and not from this planet, especially when he names his kid after a far off long galaxy that none of the rest of us ever heard of. Elon loves to cause some controversy, and he definitely caused some controversy when he put out a tweet that said, Aliens built the pyramids. Obviously, that tweet made people in Egypt go mad and crazy because, again, they don't want you to know that. But how does Elon, obviously, as he claims, know this? He'd only know as if he was related to the aliens that actually built the pyramids. This is, this is one of the great questions in physics and philosophy uh, is uh, where are the aliens? Maybe they're among us. I don't know. Uh, some people think I'm an alien. And even well-known actors, like the actor Aaron Paul, came out after having lunch with Elon, totally convinced that he's actually an alien. Well, honestly, after sitting down and talking to him, I, I realized that I'm, I'm now convinced that he's an alien. <laughs> I really, I mean, I, there's, what, what other answer is there? He, 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 well, he, he is an alien, right? He came, where's he from? I don't know. So now let us take a look at another clip. This particular clip comes from the UK and it is of a gentleman that suddenly jumps out of his seat freaking out because he saw something allegedly that others did not see. The only other information I have from this particular incident is that it was in the UK, the man was escorted off the plane and he was arrested. Check it out and let me know what you think down below in the comments. Oh, Look at everyone filming, man. <laughs> whoa, 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 yo, 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 so again, friends, what the fudge is going on with people on airplanes losing their minds and seeing things that others do not see? Now, together, I'm sure we can all agree that people are losing their minds more than we've ever witnessed before, especially since the 2020 lockdown. It would appear that one flew over the cuckoo's nest was released from global lockdown the same time as the rest of us. There is one other video clip that I'm unable to play for you here today. Creepy as it is, a friend sent me this video clip and I did view it. 
The next morning I went on to view it and screenshot it for you all so I can show and share and we can talk about it. And the link took me to a totally different video. I searched the internet high and low trying to locate this video of this man on an Asian flight flipping out and I could not find it. So chances are maybe it happened in China because China is good at making things disappear very quickly, but I'm not sure. What I am sure of is what I witnessed. A man freaking out on the airplane in the same kind of situation, except this man strongly believed that he was seeing aliens from inner earth, making claims that the people on the plane, the stewardess, were aliens from inner earth. If you're not familiar with inner earth or the journey to the center of the earth, you might want to look into that for yourself and read some information about General Richard Byrd. But on the different note, this man was also escorted off the plane. But as he was escorted off the plane, he started screaming that this plane's going to end up like the Malaysian Airlines that disappeared that we all know about. That again, some conspiracies believe were taken away by UFOs and aliens. So what is up with this? Why are all these people freaking out? We can't blame it on the same country because it was in three different countries, three separate incidents. How many incidents were there that we did not see? Now we have the story of a man by the name of Phil Schneider. Phil Schneider is now deceased and he of course has been debunked over and over and over again. Called crazy and a whole bunch of other slew of things to the point of maybe driving this guy crazy. But Phil Schneider and the things that he says are much more believable now more than ever. Too bad Phil ain't here to defend himself. This stuff is so much more believable, especially after this. This is what Phil had to say, and the first part is the most concerning, if you ask I'm me. I'm going to casually mention to you something that's very scary indeed. I'm going to tell you what the alien agenda is, and it's going to sound very familiar. The alien agenda is the complete takeover of this planet, the killing off of five, six to seven eighths of the world's population, by the year 2029. What did he just say? Did Phil just say killing off seven eighths of the population? Haven't we heard this somewhere before? I know you have because we talked about this many times over. Another conspiracy that isn't that much of a conspiracy any longer. We've all heard Gates say it in the past. We also even have Ted Turner, the billionaire owner of the Turner Network, saying this. And, and then after that, we've got to, we've got to stabilize the population. When I was born, there so were what's too, wrong with the population? I mean, with too many people. That's what. That's why we have global warming. We have global warming because too many people are using too much stuff. But if there were less people, they'd be using less stuff. It, now, yes, this video of Ted Turner was decades ago, but at the same time, you all know about the recent destruction earlier this year of their evidence. That evidence that stood for decades in Georgia, the Georgia Guidestones. It clearly stated on the Georgia Guidestones that these elite want to keep the planet at the population of 500 million people or less. What about the rest of us? What are their plans for the rest of us? I think you already know the answer to that. While they build their underground bunkers and prepare for something that they are also hiding from us, the arrival of Planet X or Planet Nibiru. I'll have more information on a future video on that. Also, be sure to check out my Hopi prophecy video. The Georgia Guidestones were literally a ritualistic ceremonial monument that was erected and put into place to show us their plan for the NWO. A conspiracy that we know isn't looking much like a conspiracy anymore. Even sounds like something right out of the Holy Bible. Keeping the population low and taking control with one world everything. And if this don't convince you about their agenda and their evil plans, well, how about this shocking statement that just came out recently from the vice president of the United States who's thrown it right in our faces, their plan. This is what they do, friends. They put it in our faces. So then when it happens, they can't say that they didn't tell us they weren't going to do it. When we invest in clean energy and electric vehicles and reduce population and reduce population and reduce population, more of our children can breathe clean air and drink clean Kamala water. Kamala doesn't even hesitate one bit when she says and reduce population. She doesn't hesitate. She doesn't correct it because that's exactly what was written for her to read. 
for the rest of us to hear, to put that out again to us in a subliminal way. Subliminal because nobody's really paying attention to it or what she actually said. Now let's go back to the clip of Phil Schneider. The alien agenda is a complete takeover of this planet, the killing off of five, six to seven eighths of the world's population by the year 2029. U.S. military has known about this for 45 years. They've told no one. As far as I know, I'm the only person standing before a crowd talking about the alien agenda secretively. Okay, they, back in 1954, I'll give you a quick overview. There was the created 1954 treaty where Eisenhower signed a pact with the known alien species of the time. There were three at the time. And said that we're going to deal in high technology, but you can take a few head of cattle and a few human beings and you can experiment on them. It's unthinkable. It's stuff straight out of the death camps, and I'm kidding you not, it's plain BS, and it's got to stop. The Great in 1954 Treaty would have been violated. After, after the great firefight, the alien human war, I am the only living survivor talking about it worldwide at all. The only one. The other two are in nursing homes in Canada, and the Canadian government refuses to allow any U.S. people, including myself, to talk to them because they are afraid of kidnapping. Probably the reason I got shot to pieces and 11 attempts on my life is I am a direct threat to the entire system. The New World Order, the alien agenda is one and the same. It's world takeover and the decimation of the population of this planet. Now, I'm going to tell you something a little bit different about the alien species. The bad news ones, there are nine races of alien populations. So now many people, of course, say that Phil Schneider was crazy and made all this stuff up. But isn't that what they say when they don't want you to actually know the truth? They make you look like you're a crazy person? Or when you don't feed into their agenda, they make you look like a crazy person? Look what they did to Britney Spears. Look what they did to Justin Bieber until he submitted to his masters. This is what they do. So maybe Phil Schneider was actually on to something. Of course, sadly, he's not here to defend himself, nor is he here to witness this flow of truth coming out about aliens and UFOs right now. Now we also have this video that suddenly resurfaced on the internet. Now that UFOs and aliens are a trending topic, when things like the fires in Italy, Greece, and Canada should be trending, but instead the UFOs and aliens are trending. Now this clip was played on the YouTube channel Redacted. It's a channel that I happen to recommend if you want some good news and some good truth, check them out. But at the same time, again, this video goes back quite many years ago. Allegedly, it was filmed in 1991. This is an interrogation of an alien. I'm only going to show you a few clips of this with the guy in the background describing what was happening, claiming that there were people like General Colin Powell that were present when this alien was being interrogated. 91, a thought projection interview of a other gray, designated an other gray, an extraterrestrial biological entity. He is a haploid, which means he came with only one sexual chromosome. Human beings are diploids. Uh, for any microbiologists out there, if I'm hatcheting those words, uh, I'm sorry. But this being had only one uh, uh, sexual chromosome. Uh, he came to the S2 Alpha, the official designation of the underground facility that had the, that housed the alien interrogation and retention program. That's the unofficial name of, of what this was. Uh, they call these interview suites the ambassador suites because they do, the government did try for the, the care and did treat these and look at these beings and still do as ambassadors from other planets and other dimensions. And if you hear David Grush coughing on his words, it's because he doesn't want to tell you that some of these beings are from other dimensions. And um, 
So this bean was very ill at the time. He had a respiratory issue. Now, Sean David Morton also heard for uh, also heard. I can't verify this veracity that it's some sort of uh, uh, debilitation or disease with its heart lung sac. It does not have a traditional heart. It's got a heart lung one sac, which was the need for the special monitor, which goes up and down, does not go across uh, to monitor this bizarre heart lung one sac organ that the alien has. And um, behind the viewing glass were five men, two telepaths. Uh, there are there are, is a researcher out there, and I don't doubt it. And because I've seen the outline of the figure, um, and I didn't catch this, and someone else did, so I'm crediting them. I don't ever want to not credit other people. That Colin Powell was in that interview room. Now, I know that sounds crazy. I can't verify it, but it certainly looks like the outline of them. It looks like an African-American male in his 50s wearing an Army Class A dress uniform. Funny, the rear admiral that was on my list was uh, the person that uh, reported intelligence to the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Interesting. But that, that's how bizarre this film has gotten. And I'm not even going to tell you anything about the telepath because I don't want it to get into the Da Vinci Code. Now, on a personal level, that alien, to me, connecting energetically, felt very distraught and not well. So the claims that the man makes in this video that the alien wasn't well, I can definitely see the validity in that for sure. I want to know what your comments are, and if you want to see the entire video and the interview, be sure to go to Redact. Now, we also have the very fascinating story that's been around for decades of a man in Sweden and by the name of Billy Meyer. Billy Meyer had made claims going back decades ago that he received visits since the time of being a little child, about five years old, from the Blagerian people. The Plagerians are alien race that sort of look like us that live in the Pleiades galaxy. Billy Meyer has come up with the best UFO footage going back to the 1960s and 70s when video cameras didn't have audio. They had all his film and pictures analyzed by companies like Kodak and they all came out saying that those pictures were not hoaxed, that it wasn't able to be hoaxed, especially back in the time period and the kind of film that he used. So you see some of these pictures and how amazing they are. Now, Billy Meyer, just like Phil Schneider, claims that there were many attempts on his life which makes sense. Billy Meyer will show you the bullet wounds that he has from attempts on his life, alleged attempts on his life. But here's the fascinating thing about Billy Meyer. Billy Meyer got information about upcoming events on the planet from the Plagerian people. Prophecies, we can say, and predictions. Prophecies and predictions that continuously happened one after another after another. Billy Meyer even said that there would be major border crisis happening globally, including in the United States. We see that happening now. He said that decades ago. So you can debunk Billy Meyer like they try to debunk anybody with good, true information. But again, I want to know what your comments are down below. So personally, on an intuitive level, there is definitely, obviously, something going on and an agenda that's playing out for all of us. I personally have had experiences with UFOs and aliens, as many of you know, going to my videos about the Bradshaw Ranch here in Sedona, Arizona. The Bradshaw Ranch is much like the Skinwalker Ranch, and I've had really not so good experiences there, witnessing and seeing things that won't allow themselves to be photographed, missing time, not being able to get out of bed for four days, feeling like your brain's fried for a month, realizing that you experienced radiation poisoning. I've had pictures that you all saw in the video of UFOs, so I froze them and I did a video on that, including the creepy people or whatever these things are in these pictures that seemed to be watching us when we were walking through the Bradshaw Ranch House. I knew something was there and watching us, but there were no people visibly in sight. I know without a doubt that Bradshaw Ranch is much like the Skinwalker Ranch in the aspect that there are things there that allow aliens or what have you to travel between different dimensions and maybe into different galaxies or planets. No doubt about it. We know this is real. And if you don't, again, and you need more proof, <laughs> hold on tight because much more proof is coming. There's an agenda here. There's a plan here. What do you think that plan is? There are so many UFO videos online and sky events that are happening all over. 
But I have to remind you what Jesus said in the Bible for us to keep our eyes to the skies. Now here's an interesting video clip that I just thought was interesting to share with you. You may remember the story of a famous model who was on an airplane and decided to videotape the clouds. And then suddenly out of the clouds came a flying vehicle, one that is called a UFO. Now, personally, I believe that this is actually one of the reversed engineered government UFOs and definitely not alien, but you be the judge. A very interesting clip indeed, and so many like I said. I also remind you of the prediction I made going back two years ago, but Spirit reminded us again in January that we needed to keep our eyes to the skies. From Luke 21:25, and there will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars, and on the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, we're already seeing distress of nations like never before. We're already seeing things with the sun and the sun flares that are getting more and more intense as time progresses. We haven't seen much with the moon yet, but I'm sure that's coming because the Bible seems to always be right. Now, a really interesting quote out of Jeremiah 10 2, that could perhaps, hypothetically speaking, of course, show that the elite and the evil cabal have a plan to fake an alien invasion. And this quote out of the Bible is some advice letting us know how to take it when it comes. Learn not the way of the nations. Learn not the way of the nations, nor be dismayed at the signs of the heavens, because the nations are dismayed by them. Basically telling us that when we see the signs in the heavens, don't be dismayed by them at all. Just because your government's acting like they're dismayed by it, making us all believe that it's a real invasion when really it's signs from God and the heavens above. Spirit tells me that there are both, like humans, good aliens and there are bad aliens. It just so happens that the bad aliens got the just of us on this planet. But eventually, according to prophecies, beliefs, and even conspiracy, the good aliens are going to come down and save us all. I hate to disappoint you, but I don't believe that'll be the case at all. Even the Hopi people in their prophecies talk about the space brothers and sisters coming down to the planet and taking the Hopi people off the planet Earth before the big flood came. The flood that we know out of the Holy Bible is the flood of Noah. They also believe that these space brothers and space sisters are going to come back down again for the next cataclysmic event that's going to happen on the earth and the great awakening that's already happening. So we are approaching those times without a doubt. Why do you think they're building all their underground bunkers? They know. Why do you think that the Vatican has the most powerful telescope of all? What are they looking for? A telescope, by the way, that's named Lucifer, in case you weren't aware of that. What is this all about? We all remember the story growing up, going back to Orson Welles and the War of the Worlds. We've even seen remakes of the movies, War of the Worlds, with people like Tom Cruise. Perhaps Tom Cruise is an alien too? Who knows? We simply just do not know. But that whole scare that Orson Welles put over the radio back in the day was easily a test to see if they could get away with it. And now they've had decades and they are so advanced with their technologies and artificial intelligence that they can easily fake us into believing that we are being attacked from an alien force above. Even Ronald Reagan warned us in the 1980s of this exact thing. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet I ask you, 
Is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? We have to remember also what Jesus said in the book of John. Unless you see the signs and wonders for yourself, you will not believe. Well, we're starting to see those signs and wonders now. Do you believe? Spirit has showed me visions of underground bunkers, big gigantic underground bases with hundreds, likely thousands of these flying machines that look like UFOs. All man-made and man-created. Why do they have all these hundreds, probably again thousands of UFOs? What do they plan on doing with them? Why have they been building them and hiding them underground for so long? We already know, again, in accordance to these whistleblowers, that the United States government reverse-engineered UFOs decades ago. Probably before many of you were even born. Maybe even before I was even born. It's definitely possible and definitely what Spirit has showed me in my visions. And remember also in my past predictions, Spirit showed me UFOs being used in acts of war. We have not yet seen that, and hopefully we do not, but that would make sense to the alleged conspiracies that they are going to pose an alien attack on the United States, or in, on the entire world, actually. And think about this. In order to get every country in the world to agree to fall into their trap of global imprisonment through their one government, one religion, one everything, one currency, and so forth, how can they pull that off? Because not everybody's going to say, yeah, we're in, we're in. They can pull that off only one way, to make us believe that we are being attacked from an alien force in outer space. Believing that would get everybody on this planet to come together as one. Remember movies like Independence Day or the series V and all these things again that have been put in our faces as a part of the deep programming, the MK Ultra programming that they've been doing to us since we were little kids. And what they're doing to little kids now, showing cartoons with people getting chips put in their arms. Sounds very much like the Mark of the Beast in the Bible, wouldn't you say? So again, going back to these people on the airplanes, certainly they were having some kind of episode, whether it was a psychotic episode or whether they actually did witness skinwalkers. We're going to see more and more of this growing as this year progresses, especially when we get into 2024. And soon, likely in 2024, we will also witness one of my other predictions of a UFO crash being caught on video so many times by so many people that it couldn't be covered up. I would expect that to be coming in the near future. But again, is this part of their plan to take one of their reverse engineered UFOs and crash it? It wouldn't surprise me at all. Again, we cannot be too sure about anything, especially with today's technology and artificial intelligence. And perhaps in the future, all of us on some level or another will have E.T. hanging out in our closets, holding up his fingers saying, home. So I wanna know what you think. Your comments mean a lot to me, so please leave your comments down below. I thank all those who took the millisecond to click that like button to show your love. And if you have not seen my remote viewing video of Antarctica, and you wanna know what's really going on there, you're gonna to wanna to check that video out. I'll leave a link here. Again, I thank all the supporters who make this free content possible and thank all of you for hanging out with me once again on this beautiful day. Remember, you can catch me every Tuesday for Tuesday's Tittle Tea Time predictions updates where we go over news stories and how they relate to predictions and prophecy and new predictions each and every week. Thanks again. I hope you all have a very amazing, beautiful day. And remember to be bold, be true, be kind, be you because you are friggin' amazing. Spread your love, spread your light. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste, much love.